Yep. Okay, so uh, the first thing I would like to say thank you for inviting me uh, on this conference. Uh, my name is Hong Wing, and uh, uh, I would like to say thank you for a very great uh, conference and helpful information that you already gave me. And uh, today I would love to share about our uh, radical improvement, like from making the Vietnam tuna industry more sustainable and eco-friendly. We are the reducing the bycatch of the endangered, threatened, uh, protected, uh, I would call it a ETP, a species case study uh, of the Vietnam. So my name is Hong Nguyen, uh, and uh, I'm a sustainability coordinator. Um, so uh, let me introduce you briefly about our association. So uh, we are the Vietnam Tuna Association. Uh, I will call it the Vina Tuna. And we are, was established in 2010. And we are a non-governmental organization uh, representing for the tuna sector in Vietnam. And um, Vina Tuna, uh, our mission is to promote the public and private partnership among the stakeholder in the tuna supply chain. Uh, to support the tuna, uh, tuna sector development uh, toward to the sustainability, social responsibility, and also the transparency, the traceability as well. But in the, uh, in the, in the, in the, in the content of the, our conference today, so I only focus on about the sustainability, about the welfare. So our work um, is uh, our functional uh, areas for the whole, the scope is for the whole Vietnam country. Uh, wherever uh, we have 10 provinces where capture the oceanic and narrative tuna um, is developed and uh, the landing. Um, so we start doing the, we, we, we started the, our fishery improvement project. Uh, that is the FIP, I would call it a FIP, uh, in 2015 when uh, uh, the Vietnam tuna uh, industry want to get the MSA certification. And uh, with the lead from the WWF and the Vietnam Tuna Association, the gear type is the hand line uh, for the yellowfin tuna. Um, so at the first uh, stage, we need to do conducted a pre-assessment. So we can see some of the uh, issue that we already uh, have. Uh, we, we had like, uh, first of all, we don't have, we no, have no current measure in place to protect the the retained species like the ETB. And also we don't have uh, enough, uh, we have no information available on the primary species, secondary species, and also the ETB. And uh, we have, uh, we had uh, insufficient knowledge on the sea turtle stock and uh, application of the management measures and also the mit uh, mitigation strategies. And uh, uh, we, we, we need more information on the turtle catch and interaction status for the ETB species in our industry as well. So that's our issue at the, in the 2015. So we, we, that's the reason why we have many activity, the action to improve our fisheries. So uh, what is our action? So the first action is we, we focus on about the documentation so we document the catch of the species in the handline fisheries. So we develop a we develop and uh, pilot and also the expand the COPPA application. The COPPA is is an app which stands for the Crew Observer Photographic Protocol application. So the COPPA is the is a crew based monitoring uh, tool that allows the fishing vessel crew or the captain to easily collect the catch data on the target catch. Um, as well as the ETB species, like a shark, a turtle, a ray, if they, they are pie catch. And we document catch with the photos for the verification. So the fisher can provide data as a fishery monitors and the data collected can supplement the official onboard uh, observer data. Um, and the second action we do is we promoting the circle hook program and also a report on the compara uh, comparative catch rate of the different hook type. Um, there are some reason why we we want to promote the circle hook instead of the the traditional J hook. First is about it is have for the reduce the deep hooking. You know the circle hook are designed like this to catch the fish uh, in the corner of the mouth rather than uh, deep in the throat and or uh, or the, the stomach. 
which is common with the traditional chain hook. So this lowers the risk of the serious injuries uh, to bycatch species like uh, sea turtle. And also, it, it helps us to easier release since the circle hook generally is set near the mouth and it's easier to remove them safely and reducing the post-release mortality. So this is especially beneficial for the bycatch species that have a high chance of the, or the, of the survival if, if the, the, the hook is not deeply hooked. And also the circle hook have a less aggressive uh, shape that minimize the tissue damage. Um, and there's another reason is we, it is reduced the handling time is another benefit because uh, the circle hook are easier to remove from the mouth than the traditional hook. So this limit the stress on the bycatch species and which is important for the species prone to shed the related mortality. So uh, that's the reason why we, we want to promote the circle hook program. We imported uh, a lot of uh, circle hook from Korean. And then we, the first thing, the first step we should do is we conducted uh, a case study, a research of the effectiveness of the circle hook in the tuna hand like catches. Um, the reason why we want to do that, because we, we want to have the uh, case study, we have the, the result about, oh, this hook is, is good, is effectiveness, and they don't lose the catch from the fishermen. That's the evidence for us to convince, to come, go on site, to talk with the government that, oh, this, this hook is good. And because some sometimes the fishermen, they are really uh, afraid and worry about that using the new fishing uh, gear can you know, can you know, the tuner, they can escape from the hook and they lost the money. You know, there is nothing important than the money for the, for the small scale fishery, you know, a fisherman, you know. Uh, so uh, we, need, we need that information. We need the evidence. We need to, to promote and, and convince the fishermen to use. Um, and then when we finish the research, we, we start to doing the expand, like the pilot with some fishing crew. Uh, we choose some fishermen who... Uh, who who how to say like who adopt who you know who adopt a who who can adopt a new technology and who 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 dare to change you know you know what I mean right uh, so they they will they will uh, help us to pilot we give some uh, them some money the free circle hook to give them to 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 do a pilot and then they they when they pilot it it's successfully the catch of tuna is not you know they they not uh, lost the tuna when they uh, landing on the boat so um we we convince them and then we we want them to use the mouth to mouth marketing like yeah okay they come to another fisherman community to talk oh this this circle hook is good for our catch is more stronger for the tuna when they catch it um at the, at the first at the first thing at the first day we always but they always care about the tuna first, about the catch first. And then they, they you know, when we training them, they realize more and more the, the impact of the circle hook. So we conduct like that uh, and convince a, a lot of um, you know, fishermen they're using the, the circle hook. And I will tell you about the impact of it uh, later, later on. So you can see here, we call, uh, organize many uh, training workshop with the, a, a lot of fishermen to uh, in uh, in many in many province to come to to give them a, a training to help them capacity building to give them uh, a training about how to release a sea turtle when they catch a hook so we will give them a stay through to practice uh, how to release and how to release the sea turtle at the sea so so you can see uh, there there are some impact from us and and that's that's it about the circle hook and another action is about uh, we implement some retention strategy for the certain shark species. First, we uh, we expand the data uh, collection by our app like the COPPA I already introduced you. And the second, we implement the shark CMM uh, uh, from the WCBFC. And we we have some uh, policy uh, between the government and, and private sector about the ensure shark caught are landed with the fin attached. 
and uh, we conduct some uh, evaluate the effectiveness of the management measure for the shark species identified in the CMM and CITES. And also we, uh, we ensure that all of the shark species are covered under the logbooks and observer reporting. Like we work with the government, we work with the local government as well to training them to help them to know that how to report, how to write. And also uh, implement a voluntary uh, co-op conduct for the landing shark with the fin attached. That's for the shark. And yeah, there's a lot of activity that we did with the public and also private sector that we do. So about the process and strategy, I think for the whole, the long journey like that, we think that there are three main approach. Uh, there are some main approach in uh, conducting our activity. First about, we need to sustain a uh, stakeholder uh, outreach, like the fisher, processor, local authority, national line manager, to aim was to raise awareness, capacity building, and support for the fit action. Um, and this were pursued through a mixed strategy from the workshop, from the peer exchange, from the informal meeting, from the communication tool, like a poster, like a blacker, like a, like a video we post on the national, uh, national and local television in the social media of the some fishermen community group uh, to raising awareness of them. And then we have some, the second thing is about the technical delivery of the product where we, we especially, we, um, we support for the fishermen, we support for the local authority on the like hands-on support uh, to help them to understand more and, uh, and work with them, you know, more closely. And then we leveraging and inform and engage the private sector. Like we, we ask for the international buyer, the local tuna processor to support and advocate for our actions. And you, you know, because they have the money talk, so they have more, you know, like power to talk with the fishermen who work uh, usually more often, you know. Yeah, so you can see on this picture, there are many training workshops we do from the logbooks, from the by cash release conservation, like the Vietnam fishery law for the fishermen, a lot of things to do, we, we already done. Um, so we talk about the impact, what, what we, what we uh, have done for many years, like until now. So first of all, we successfully uh, work with the government to like promote them to have the a tuna management strategy is in play and a revised tuna management plan in 2024 of Vietnam is awaiting for the minister to approval. And the, our project, we are participating in the policy effort and uh, we provide a technical guidance on the ETP species by catch on the, on the technical um, uh, documents of the, the, of the Vietnam fishery law. Uh, and also the, the data from our application, the COPPA is provide first is the useful data on the harvest of the non-target uh, species. And uh, we add, so we, we are like the additional verification for other program, like from the Research Institute for Marine Fishery in Vietnam, uh, reassessment, and also from other projects. And we continue to engage with the go government for the national tuna management plan with the ETB species by using, advocating for and using the stronger language around um, turtle mitigation strategy and for general wider adoption of the circle hook. And uh, the data we already collected and using that there is indicated that uh, in Vietnam tuna industry right now is a low level of the turtle interaction in the handline fishery. And there is no high risk for the sea turtle and shark species. And for the circle hook program, so what is the impact? First, I think that we, I think that we we already put the circle hook program into the mitigation measure of the national platform, and we um, we successfully uh, uh, transfer the fishing gear from the traditional tray hook like this to the circle hook. And right now, uh, 75 percent uh, of Vietnamese tuna hand line fisher are now using and buying the circle hook. Now they are run out of the the the, the how to say it, like the uh, provided from the circle hook. And many fishermen they 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 call me. They ask me where to buy the circle hook. Where to buy circle hook? Where they they 
um, they they really like to using the circle hook for their economic effectiveness and also the the protected the the ETB species as well. And um, with our data from the COPPA, from the, our application, it, it helped us to understand more, to learn more about the fishery interaction with the ETB species. Because at the first stage, we, we don't have any information on that, but now it's good. Like we have some basic data, fund, fundamental data for us to understand the fishery interaction. And uh, the fisher awareness program, we we uh, conducted ma in many years and it helped us to reduce a lot of, you know, like the fishery impact on the ETB species. Uh, Vina Tuna, us, we led a community, we have led a community workshop training session, PHGN related to the sea turtle and shark by catch management, legal status and uh, at sea documentation and best practice for mitigation and handling. And uh, fishermen, they, they, they have understand and they are, uh, gradually, you know, learn and, and, and practice that at the sea. And uh, the latest uh, research that we can see that the re reassessment, so we can find that the protected shark species right now are likely to be low 2% of the fishery con uh, total catch um, data collection uh, from the Research Institute of Marine Fishery right now. And yeah, so um, there are many lessons learned that we, we, we work on that. So to build uh, an application like that, we have, a, we have to spend a lot of years uh, for designing, to, for better testing, for piloting, for establish a report protocol, and also to uh, a, a tailor application as well. And we, we have to continue, you know, outreach and engagement with the fishing community because they, they, they very easily to forget what, what we give them. So we have to maintain the contact, training workshop, and building the relationship is, 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 is necessary. And, um, and we, we need to, um, about, the, about our work, we need to very flexible, adapt, adaptive when we're working with the pro constituency of the fisher. And we need to have the contingency planning and risk advice uh, approach to ensure the fisher uh, representation uh, in the bot at the sea monitoring onshore chaining shop. And uh, we need to change uh, with the port authority captain to understand the optimal time period for planning in intervention. And P2P again is uh, whether it's semi-formal, formal or the informal is very necessary where the fisher who are familiar and supportive, they can feel that and they qualify, can effectively support buying and overall uh, the project uh, progress. Yep, so when we work with the government, we think there are some key lessons. First, we need to clearly define the roles and uh, responsibility of the government partner and regularly revisit and adjust these as needed. And we also need to maintain a dialogue with the senior manager and local line manager on the uh, project activities, ensure the, their representation in the workshop and as well as semi-regular debrief. And also we need to build a strong relationship take several years. And we need to understand the mapping of the political economy and a governing issue from the start and regularly revisit these issue and assumption with them. And we need to uh, addressing issue like the ETB compliance data sharing. It can be effective to highlight the regional and international example of the best practice to the government to let them know what we are doing right now. So that's all for my presentation. And uh, my name is Hong Ling again, and uh, I work for the Vietnam Tuna Association as a sustainability coordinator. Uh, I here I put my email here if you have any question or sorry if you have anything you want to collaborate in the near future so just contact me so thank you and I hope to receive some uh, question from you and that's all thank you so much thank you Hong. that was a uh, that was a fascinating presentation thank you I'm lo lots of detail it's uh, I'm still I'm still trying to absorb all of it <laughs> but uh, I mean one thing that struck me uh, was uh, you and Marcelo both uh, both referred to the importance of uh, of collecting data and information, 
and to be able to to be able to persuade both the fishermen uh, to adopt uh, good welfare practices and that it's not going to affect their fishing operations, but also to uh, to to convince other stakeholders, for example, government agencies. So I mean that that yeah I. I really liked your, both both Marcelo's and your emphasis uh, on collecting data and how important that is in terms of persuading people. Um, the the other thing, the C hooks, the circle hooks versus versus the J hooks. Um, I may have missed it. You may have mentioned it, um, but there's. Um, I know there's been discussions about and some evidence that C hooks are. You're less likely to have foul hooking uh, on the target animal uh, with C hooks than J hooks. Do you do you have any information about that? What is foul? Foul hooking. hooking. So not it, it's not in an ideal position on that. So okay. so with a J hook, you can even you can even hook in yeah, the side. Yeah, they can of the, ingest it. Yeah, and, yeah, or it can be swallowed. And yeah. Yeah. Whereas a C hook is more likely to embed in the scissors of the jaw. Yeah. So do you have any information on that, Hoang? Um. Yeah, so um, there are many uh, there are many uh, research uh, scientific paper that uh, they already um, um, uh, indicated and show the effectiveness of the ETB species, and they show so there uh, there are many. But here in our presentation, I show you two two main uh, scientific paper from Watson about the fishing methods to reduce sea turtle mortality. Um, and also the, from the Mr. Cook and uh, his uh, workmate uh, in 2000, uh, and for, uh, 2004 about uh, our circle hook, an effective tool for the conserving marine. Um, they, they show the result, the, their finding about the circle hook is, 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 um, is, uh, is more, uh, is have the, you know, the position of the circle hook is uh, is have for the sea turtle, especially for the sea turtle, is is more uh, like how to say like don't don't let uh, any risk of the serious in in injury of the the, the, the sea turtle. Yeah. And uh, uh, from the our practical thing, we when we when we come, we interview the fishermen, and they they. Um, they have some this description, like how to say, like this, uh, the, the uh, description for me for us about uh, how how they can see uh, the sea circle hook when they hook on the on the sea turtle. So it is just 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 about here, like how to say. I don't, I don't know how to explain that in in English, but you know, like it's it's very easy to release. They told me just just nip around, you know, less than ten seconds to get the hook from the from the sea turtle they told me like that and it's not in the position to to swallow yeah. you know like it's not to to swallow in in the air and in the digest of the 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 sea turtle but for the tuna they told me that they told they told us uh, many many fishermen they told us that they the hook they, they hook very you know like how to say like very swallow for the tuna and it it uh it catch more tightly for for the for the for the tuna. <coughs> so the catch rate is is increased okay. and they they don't worry much about the loss the tuna and about the sea turtle uh, and the sea turtle the result can can see that uh, um it's, it's not in the very serious uh, um, position and very easy to release the the the, the hook so it's a win-win solution Better catch yeah. rates for the fish. Yeah, yeah. um, no, like with with the I don't know, like but in Vietnam, in Vietnam, and I think also in the small scale fishery, when we work with them, the most important thing and the prior priority, you know, the biggest priority of them, is not about the ETB. It's not about the protect the, the any kind of like species. The the thing they work they 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 concern the first thing is about the profit, about the money, so. If you want to convince them, you need to convince that oh, this hook is more tied with the tuna, and this hook is catch more effectively than or maybe equal with the the the, the chain hook the the, the chain hook, 
So that's the first thing they want to hear from you. If you come to the community and you say, oh, this hook is very good for the sea turtle, they don't care. And, and no, I don't care. I don't, I don't, I don't need it. You know, you, know, you know what I mean? So, so that's the thing that the, at the small yeah. scale fishery, people with the low education uh, level, so they always think about the profit first. So, so that's, that's the thing. Uh, although with the scientists, with the government people, they can understand yeah why we should to protect the another in, uh, animal like sea turtle, like shark. But with the fishermen in the small scale fishery, they don't care. They don't care much, and you have to train them uh, over and over the time to let them understand. But the first priority they always the money, always the yeah the money. It's, you know, you know. It's a little bit the difference between long term and short term uh, thinking, and I can understand the fishermen because they. Uh, they need to live from that uh, that catch as well. So I got a yes. couple of questions coming in for you, uh, Wang. Uh, first one, thank you for this very clear and superb presentation. How many fishers crew used the COPPA app and what was the buy-in for them to use it? Um, right now we have, um, uh, right now we have more than uh, um, right now, for the Kappa app, we have more than 50 uh, fishing vessels are using and reporting the, 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 data, the data collection for us. Uh, and what the thing they, we, 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 for them to buy in is, is we have to organize some training workshop to um, uh, help them to know how to use it. And uh, also, uh, we choose some at the first stage, in the piloting stage, we choose around ten to to uh, ten to fifteen, uh, ten ten vessel fishing vessel to to conduct that to pilot it that on shore, and we gave them some money, like gave some uh, some money at the first at the first stage, you know, like uh, to encourage them, like yep. they sensitive sensitive them to, to to use that at the first time because it, it took their time to to type it. So the, the key the key lesson I I learned from from that app is we this we, we need to know who is the end user. We need to know who is the end user. Uh, we know that the end user is fisherman who has a very low education level because uh, most of the Vietnamese fishermen right now is uh, they are doing the traditional so uh, they don't go to school to learn too much. Uh, so we know that the the educational level is is a, a, a quite low. So we we design the app very very simple. You know you know what I mean. Just only the picture, only the picture. Not you know not not much uh, words, not much uh, sentence in there. Just only picture, and they just need to click on the app and uh, click to the photos, the photos, the picture, the picture, and then they choose that. Yeah. So there are only two type of um, um, uh, two or three type of information they need to do about the weight, about the estimated weight, and about the estimated length, uh, about the about the how to say about the um, the species. We use the picture like tuna, big uh, like yellowfin tuna, big eye tuna, shark, shark sea turtle. Uh, we have di different type of sea turtle, right? So yep. we have uh, we have different picture of the kind of the sea turtle, and they look at the the species that they are landing, and then they choose they choose the correctly the photos, the picture. So it is more easier for the the fishermen they use more than you know they have to tie or oh, what kind of species on the phone yeah. is is not work. Although you pay them money, but they feel that it's so complicated and so. So complicated, yeah. so they, you know, throw that. They don't need your money anymore. But as simple as you can for the end user, and you know how the end user, they use, they use the device, they use the app. So you can, uh, the, the, your app is, can be, you know, more successfully. Yeah, so, 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 that, so yeah. very user-friendly. That's what you try to aim for. Very, with yeah, app. yeah, user-friendly, yeah. Yeah, so uh, I hope... Uh, the pe person that uh, question because I know the person that asked this question in uh, in Belgium they're also uh, working very much with digitalization and apps uh, for fishermen so uh, maybe he took notes and uh, will apply the same strategy in uh, in Belgium. 
Um, yeah. Next question. Um, thank you, Hong. I really enjoyed your presentation. Great to see fishermen adopting sea hooks. Are there any plans to publish a social science type of article to discuss fishermen perception of the value of sea hooks? Oh, that, that would be interesting, uh, I think. Uh, there's always a lot of papers on uh, the, you know, the effect on the catch. And, uh, but uh, is there any um, socio-economic or social study um, in the planning uh, or report on your experiences with this? Um. So what you mean is um yeah how so um <clears throat> your experience how how uh, the fishermen uh, are perceiving working with sea hooks and how uh, convincing them and how uh, their uh, yeah how the process to, of that transition uh, went in a in a social way so how did the fishermen yeah, yeah, themselves yeah. react yeah. so so as i already mentioned at my in my presentation that uh, is this about Choosing some people who are really, uh, who 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 are willing to adopt a new fishing gear, to yeah. test that. That's the always the the great thing for the small scale fishery because they with the small scale fishery um, attitude and perception. I know that they are very afraid of you know like changing a a new thing because they are worried of losing money. Um, so we always you know like. How to say? First, we provide the equipment for them. At first thing, second, we give them some money as a uh, as a like uh, their piloting for for their piloting, and then we we talk with them about the effectiveness, and then we 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 work with them for a few chips, like around uh four to five chips in a year, and then to to let them and whenever the the fishing landing, they the fish landing, we talk with them about. We talk with them. We get the data like from them about uh, how is it and how how uh, how how effective of this is it and uh, and we we ask them to uh, to share you know to willing to share the new fishing gear. We choose like we choose some kind of the leader of the fishing like fishing crew like fishing fleet, and then share that information to the community in a like the mouth to mouth marketing like. And you know, like, um, I I don't know in another country, but in Vietnam, when the uh, because we we work in sometimes we we have the some fishing fleet with many fishing vessel, and there is one is a leader, and they try, and then mm. they they talk to other that oh this 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 hook is good, this hook is good, yeah. and it's more you know, like certain when they catch the fish, and and they feel and another you know we follow and buying and testing. So you setting know, an example good. works. So yeah, setting yeah. an example works by somebody that uh, they respect within the community. Yeah, yeah. So that's that's the the the, the way we choose the, the the model, the pioneer for piloting our our work. And when they feel when they feel the the effectiveness of it, they will tell with other people without you know they need our encouragement or something you know they will feel it and they will share that to other people and that's yeah. about how to my work and uh, we feel that at at this moment like when when uh, many you know when when many fishing uh, fishing gear store they call us and they say, hey where you imported this fishing like yeah. the circle hook, they need to buy more and they need to import more. We need to advise them so we can easily to see the, the, the demand of using a, the, the effectiveness. Yeah, hook, yeah, is, so, is you know, increase, like in, increase. So that's 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 work. Yeah, that's very valuable experience. I think I think it would be interesting to to write it down so other people can 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 learn from it. So, 